So now let's take a look at the Room Framework and how it can be used in your project. So the Room Framework is being developed by Google. It's also quite similar to Green Dial Framework. However, it's a more modern framework. It includes support for RxJava, live data objects, and uh, additional options for configuration using annotations. So let's just get to the code and let's see how it looks like. So first of all, you need to include dependencies in your app module uh, so you can make use of room. So there are these three dependencies. One is the runtime and then the most important one, I would argue, is the annotation processor that is responsible for code generation because Room relies on code generation to support its more advanced features. And then finally, we have this RxJava2 library that will provide the support for RxJava-based interfaces that we are using. Next, we need to create app database. App database is this object, which basically tells Room what kind of repositories we would like to introduce in our code. So here we see only a single repository. It's called Room Portfolio Repository. We're going to take a look at it in a short while. And then we have this converter that we're going to use to convert data. Again, we're going to take a look at it as well. Finally, we define here the only entity that we're going to be persisting and reading is a stock portfolio item. So this app database object gets constructed by database builder. And then we also define in this module that we're going to use app database to provide our code with room portfolio repository instance. So now let's take a look at the converters. Since we're using in our code uh, date objects and big decimal objects, we need to show room framework how we can convert between each other. So here we can see that we will store date in long value format. And when we're going to receive long value for the field of type date, we're going to use date constructor to create a new date instance. Similarly, we're going to use data object to convert it back to the long format by calling getTime method. So something similar is done with big decimal. Again, we're going to store our values in plain string. And now we can take a look again at the app database. And from here, we can go to the stock portfolio item. So stock portfolio item needs this entity annotation. So it shown that this class can be saved in the room database. So here we can see it's using entity annotation from room framework. Also, we define this long ID field as a primary key and we let room to auto generate the values for it. The rest is straightforward. There is getter and setter for each of the items. Also, some additional methods just to provide functionality in our application. Finally, let's take a look at this class Room Portfolio Repository. So we have this internal interface in our Portfolio Repository class that's annotated with DAO annotation, which shows that it's data access object for Room Portfolio Repository. And then we define this query annotation to show that we're going to select all the items from stock portfolio table. So it's similar to SQLite. Well, it's still using SQLite in behind the scenes. So we're still making the regular SQL queries, but that's it. And the room framework will automatically figure out how to map objects to the list so we can use them. Also, we have these insert and update methods that are used to update uh, and obviously add new data to our database. And this interface is used in the parent class portfolio repository that will use RxJava to interface with our current code. So, for example, here we have even a saving item. We can check if it has already an ID. If it doesn't, so it's a new item, we insert it. And if it does have an ID, so we just update an existing. So using room library 
it makes our code much more simpler. We need less queries, less mapping code. It uh, just streamlines the development. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at the object box framework, which is similar to room framework, but it doesn't use SQLite behind the scenes.